Kind of, you pleased with the, your opening round today? Yeah, uh, you know, unfortunate to just kind of give away on the last hole, but, you know, just uh, it was a long day, and for the most part, you know, felt really good and gave myself some chances, made some putts, and kept it really simple out there. What did you feel like you did the best today? Just throughout the, throughout the entire bag. I mean, I put it myself in a lot of fairways out there, and even though it's soggy and you're going to have a lot of long irons, um, just kind of kept the ball in front of me and, and didn't really miss it in, in spots where it was frustrating. And like I said, kept it very simple. Uh, go for it. No, no, Sean, go. Sure. Yeah. Right. Uh, Dan Rapport tweeted the Unrig got back together. Um, when did that happen, and what has it brought to your game? We, we started talking right a few days right before San Antonio. Um, so that stretch of San Antonio, Augusta, RBC, you know, I was talking to him every other day, every few days. Um, look, it, it was great with Mark, and Mark provided a lot of insight and, and just a lot of knowledge. Um, but what I've learned about my game is, you know, by Thursday, I just kind of have to get that all out of my head. And, and sometimes that's hard when you have a certain swing thought or this. Um, and that's, you know, what Rick knows how to do really, really well for me is just to be ready on, on Thursday on that first tee to just go and play golf. And um, it's been good. Obviously, you know, the results have been nice. But I'm just kind of I, I know the golf is still in there. It's just being able to, to get away those layers that I've built up over the past couple of years of kind of scar tissue of, of seeing the bad shots and, and just trusting the game again. That going and playing on Thursday, is that because of Rick's work, like on the mental side or because of going back to something so familiar? Uh, it's a little bit of both. I mean, I think that's what Rick has always taught me is, you know, no matter how we've, you know, we've had different swing thoughts. We felt different in many of our, you know, successful tournaments. Um, but it's it's just a little bit of both. I think for the, the, for me to continue to play well and to continue to do what I want to do, um, by Thursday, you know, you have to free up and you have to be able to just be ready to play some golf. That, that, that familiarity, just, is that just a good feeling that you have with, with, with Rick just being able to take it onto the golf course? Yeah, it's it's very nice. I mean, you know, I, sometimes you need a search, and that's what I thought I had to do, and I went down that path, and, you know, it was fine for a little bit. Um, but just having a sense of, of, you know, that old is really, really nice to have in the back, you know, back of the, the camp, essentially. Do you feel like the stretch you've had now at Augusta and RBC and now the first round here, you feel like that's – corner hopefully is maybe turned a little bit yeah i mean i hope so you know i've seen spurts here and there throughout the past few years and um you know i want to go on an, on a run essentially right you want to go on a nice stretch of golf uh so it's nice to obviously have that finish at the masters even though it didn't play out the way i wanted but you know knowing that this week is going to be great prep especially going into next week um just got to dial in everything as much as we can and, and be ready you have talked over the years of you know you find a key on a Monday that would key you for a big week are you like finding less of those like little feels for the week now and more um, that foundation? no I mean I, I've always gone through I think through my, my, my entire career I always go through these little feels you know working Monday through Tuesday um, nothing crazy but it's stuff you know I might have worked on an off week to just bring it out on, in a practice round you know it's different playing at home home you do a lot of work um, but it's also nice to see the results, you know, on a Monday, Tuesday practice round and say, okay, you know, just go out and play golf. And that's what's kind of nice is I'm bringing that in based on what I'm doing at home into the Monday, Tuesday practice rounds um, and just kind of freeing up by Thursday. What was, was there a shot today that you hit that kind of exemplifies this different feeling on the golf course or this feeling on the course allowed you to hit? Um, I mean, to be honest, I, I don't think I really missed many iron shots left today, which was great. You know, I kind of hit them all where I wanted. Um, so for the most part, I mean, it's just I, I, I can look at a lot of my iron shots, to be honest, and say, okay, these were quality iron shots, and if I did miss it, they all were missed in the right spot or distance was correct, um, and that's what I haven't seen for a while. So that was, that was nice, especially on greens that, you know, yes, they soften up, but for the most part, they're still on the firmer end. Yep. Colin, you mentioned your own performance in the Masters recently, and to have an event like that and then to be able to come here to Quail Hollow every year – how much does that kind of that add to the significance of, of this event and make the Wells Fargo Championship what it is? Yeah, I mean, this is only my second year playing here. Um, I've heard great things, and, and we got treated really, really well ourselves and the caddies included and family included. So um, it's been an awesome time. Obviously, last year I didn't play well, so hopefully this year we can kind of, you know, turn the ship and, uh, you know, head, head down the right direction. And thankfully it was nice to get off to a decent start today. And what do you think makes Quail Hollow such a just a unique course to go on? Uh, it's just a, it's a big, big boys golf course. I mean, it is, uh, very, very tough off the tee, even though the fairways are, 
you know, on the on the wider end of, of what we might see. Um, but with the with the new greens, with the firm greens, um, you got to be able to hit your spots and you got to be able to really, you know, score with your mid to long irons, especially for a guy like me. Appreciate it. Is that right, shot today? Mm. Uh, 18 was 18 was really really good. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs>